Welcome to CHNX file. Today we will discuss briefly on electronic warfare. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to CHNX for such geopolitical videos. This is a video on the topic which is so broad and on top of that, the information on how exactly electronic warfare works is highly classified. The electronic warfare or EW which means when any one of the electromagnetic spectrum is used to attack or defend in a warfare, such action can be classified as electronic warfare. The electromagnetic spectrum includes everything under X-ray to visible light to infrared, microwaves and radio waves. Electronic warfare can be classified and broken down into three categories such as ECM or electronic countermeasures. ECM or Electronic Counter Counter Measures and ESM Electronic Support Measures. ECM Electronic Counter Measures denies the enemy's ability to collect and exchange information, therefore, limits their ability to attack or defend against an attacker. For example, jamming an enemy radio to interfere with their ability to communicate with each other or jamming a radar so that they cannot obtain useful information or fire solution from that radar. One of the such ECM device is chaff. Chaff is made up of thin strips of aluminum that is dropped from aircraft or launched into the air. Chaff is very low tech and very cheap to produce. These strips reflect radar wave creating a whole mess of radar returns making it difficult to know which return is real time target and thus denying the enemy any fire solution. In case of a missile scenario, one has only to choose between to be completely stealth or completely overwhelm the enemy sensors, so that it cannot distinguish between what is a real target or a return and which one are the fake targets. So going back to chaff, chaff is often used to distract radar guided missiles whether they be anti-ship missiles or anti-air missiles by showing them another target, which they will hopefully go after instead of the real target. Chaff has been extensively used since since its development of radar and it is still being used regularly today. In the same principle, decoys are the object that can be launched from an aircraft and present the enemy with another target instead of the real aircraft. Some modern aircraft carry several decoys which can be deployed in the hope of the enemy missile hitting it instead of the parent aircraft. The next is the method of electronic warfare that is jamming by actively sending out your own signals. This one is one of the highly classified but here is the basic understanding. The radar will emit a signal which will bounce off the aircraft and return back to the radar. The radar will thus calculate the vector solution for that object. When aircraft is actively jamming, the aircraft is actively sending the signal back to the enemy radar so that the enemy does not know if the signal it is receiving are the real ones or the fake ones. On this type of radar jamming, one can also create the appearance of aircraft being on the different bearing. As the radar rotates, it is looking in different direction for the aircraft. If the jammer sends a signal when the radar is pointed in the different location, it will appear on the radar that there is an aircraft in that direction. In this manner, the enemy radar is being denied to calculate a fire solution as it cannot point out the aircraft on the radar. Jamming GPS is another major one of the modern warfare and jamming GPS signal is not that difficult. The relatively weak signals has been jammed throughout the Iraq and Syrian war. This jamming of GPS is not limited to only GPS but all the navigational satellites such as Russians, the China's Baidu or India's Navi. They are all susceptible to jamming and modern weapons are highly dependent upon it. Part 2 ECCM or Electronic Counter Counter Measures Electronic counter counter measures also have been devised to defeat or mitigate the effects of electronic warfare. This falls into the category of ECCM. One such method is to use weapon that could home into the jamming signal. This type of guidance system instead of emitting a signal will pick up the jamming podcast and follow it as it gets stronger until it reaches a location from where the jamming signal is being broadcasted. Another method includes constantly changing the frequency of the radar. In this way, jammer would have much more difficult time knowing which frequency to jam or force the jammer to jam many different frequencies at once which totally spread out the jammer's power and weakening it on any individual frequency. 
modern radars have made jamming much more difficult as well as their computing and processing power has increased exponentially which allowed them to detect a minor difference in signals and identifying which signals are real and which one are the false. Also there are other forms of sensors and guidance which can etiquette the radar jamming for example infrared search and track or IRST. This IRST can use to detect and track targets that are either jamming or are stately which make them harder to detect on radar. Although they do have their some downsides, weather can infect their performance and they do not have as long as a range of a radar. Part 3 The final category is ESM or Electronic Support Measures. This term can also be known as ELENT that is Electronic Intelligence. Electronic intelligence is all about collecting information from radar, radio communication and any other form of signals which is being emitted by the enemy systems and using that information to detect, classify, analyze and even spy on a potential enemy. Doing this, one can give you information such as what frequency are being used so that you can prepare a defense for jamming in future. That's why there is a saying, the more the time and sweat that you spend on gathering electronic intelligence in peacetime, the less amount of blood will you spend in war. Modern warfare and technology have created an entirely new battlefield. So this is the basic understanding of electronic warfare. Although the topic is very large and vast, it has many ups and downs, it has many explanations, but this is a basic understanding of electronic warfare. So this was CIG Next report on electronic warfare. So if you like this video, please do like and subscribe to CIG Next. And what do you think about electronic warfare? Do mention your opinions in the comments below. This is CIG Next file. Till then, goodbye.